and welcome to the YouTube channel of Trade Neon. My name is Oliver Sparring and I welcome you to this new video on how to use level of interest for backtesting. After all, we finally added the new historical data function, so you're now able to load historic levels right into your level of interest indicator. Up to this point, 27th June 2025, this function is only available in Bookmap. However, we are working very hard to also publish it for Atas and TradingView shortly. As usual, in Atas and Bookmap, you can load the historical data right from your chart, right from your level of interest indicator plugin. In TradingView, things are a little different like always, because uh, up to now TradingView still has the restriction not to be able to load external data. So the TradingView users of you are already used to copying that code into their TradingView indicator on a daily basis. And what we are working on is that you will have a little drop down menu where you can choose the date of the data that you want to use or that you want to load. And then the back end will show you the text block accordingly that you can copy and paste into your trading view indicator directly. For bookmap it's important that in the first step you'll update your current jar file. That means you go right into your level of interest browser backend, scroll down to this point here bookmap and click on it and download the new zip file for the updated version. After that you open your directory where you first put your jar file into. You update it by simply deleting the old file and pasting in the new one and then you jump right into your bookmap software and click on this button for the add-ons. You first have to delete the current level of interest indicator by just clicking on the remove button down here. Then you'll click on add, go into the directory where you have put your jar into and load the new one. This will look like that. First of all, if it's not filled in already, you of course have to fill in your current license key. And after that, you'll see that you have this new field here saying data. You can here set the date of the data that you want to load as desired. Currently it's set to 27th June, which is today, but I can also simply put it on yesterday, 26th of June, click on the refresh button and bookmap will automatically load the level of interest data from yesterday. So at this point, you've got two choices. You either have the possibility to use the level of interest indicator for back tests right in the replay function, or you simply have to replay manually. For the replay function in bookmap, you of course have to record the data that you actually want to replay. That means whenever you start bookmap, you have to set the little arrow saying that you're going to record the historical data. And after that, when you close bookmap and load it again, you can start it in replay mode and load the according file that you recorded. Of course, in that file, you can load your level of interest indicator just as you're used to. And replay the recorded data with the historical level of interest levels. If you do not have any recorded file of historical data, that's no problem at all. You simply have to zoom out a little bit, go back to the yesterday's chart, zoom in wherever you want to start, for example here on 9.30 where the US session began, and you can then slowly move through the chart by just beginning here, for example, where shortly after the market opened, the price moved down to this combined level of the yesterday high and this bearish hedging level. It reflected from that level and as you can see, we've got a lot of active selling pressure coming down into that level. And as soon as that limit order here on 61.60, uh, gut filled, you can directly see fresh buyers coming in, moving the price upwards very rapidly. After that, we've got the movement upwards to this volume profile level where we can also see liquidity being filled here at the 6180. 
as soon as we got this little stop run here, there's new liquidity coming in at 61.82. The limit order gets front run by some algorithms and directly moves down, also showing a strong reaction to our level. And what you're now going to do is simply moving slowly through the chart. Be careful not to cheat. We all know that. And just simply search for your kind of setup, for your pattern that you're looking for and test how the market actually reacted to our level of interest levels. As I said, the ATAS and the TradingView version of that feature are coming shortly. Of course, we will inform you on all our channels, Instagram, YouTube. So please feel free to follow us. Press the like button if you like this new function. And if you want more videos on how to use level of interest in practice, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Have fun and happy backtesting. See you.